Let's take a look at the bidirectional reflectance distribution function shader, but let's just go ahead and call it the BRDF shader. Uh, that'll be easier to, uh, to, to get out. And what we'll do is um, take a look at some of the uh, properties and how we might take advantage of it. I'm going to go over to the surface editor, and the first thing to know is um, if we're going to take advantage of any of the, the specularity options that it has, we need to have some kind of specularity on our surface. So we'll go ahead and pick the dress surface because I already have 40% uh, specularity and 20% uh, glossiness. So we do need to know if we're going to take advantage of the specularity uh, features of the BRDF shader, we're going we're gonna to want some, some settings to begin with. Okay, I'm going to head over to the shaders tab and under add shader, I'm going to choose BRDF double click and we'll work with um, we'll work with these settings here I'm just gonna slide this over over here and let's start by um, doing a quick render okay and we'll use this as our test bed so the first thing to to know about the uh, about the shader that is a really powerful feature is that we can exclude lights from a specific surface. So we can always go over to the lights uh, property panel and the object property panel and say, well, we don't want this light to affect this object um, and it'll affect the entire object. But if you want to do it on a per surface basis, all you have to do is come is add this to the surface. And then we'll say, um, you know what? I don't want the my key light here. I don't want that to affect um, my surface. And now you can see that that light, my, my key distant light, isn't affecting that surface. So that alone makes the, the BRDF shader a, a useful shader because it's, you're not always wanting to just have the entire object not affected by the light. Well, sometimes you want a surface to, uh, to be excluded. So that's one thing that, um, that you should remember about the BRDF shader because it's really powerful. Okay, the other thing that's, that's pretty sharp is that we can, let me go ahead and do a render so that we can be sticking with uh, uh, both lights on there. Uh, the other powerful feature of, of the BRDF shader is the fact that we can stack up multiple um, specular reflections. So right now um, on layer one, I've got the regular, just regular spec, and uh, we'll keep the default settings. I'm going to change the color though, just for fun. Uh, I'm going to change the color a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go to layer two, and right now, layer two and layer three, we're not taking advantage of, of multiple um, spec hits. So I'm going to go ahead and on layer two, choose anisotropic, uh, and I'm going to use the anisotropic uh, specular shading, but in order to do that, I, I do need to uh, adjust some settings. So I'm going to start by, I'm going to make that um, kind of a bright blue as well. And then uh, for the anisotropy setting, I'm going to go ahead and choose um, 60. Uh, and if we actually want to see it in action, I should uh, go open up the surface editor. Okay, um, so that we can actually see. Let me uh, turn that back. Okay, right now, if I set this to none, there's our spec hit using our standard uh, regular um, specular reflection. I'm going to go to layer two, change it to anisotropic, and we are increasing our um, spec hit here, but I want to skew it. So now I'm using um, 30 degrees on my, uh, my setting, and then for direction, we'll leave it at zero. Okay, and if I go to layer three, now if I had a UV map on this object, I would use the anisotropic two setting so that I could take advantage of my UVs. Uh, I don't have any UVs on this character, so I'm going to drop it back down to anis anisotropic, which as you can see, my UV options become grayed out. But I'm going to change this to um, 30, but the direction, I'm going to change let's see I'm gonna change to let's do 90 uh, and I'm gonna change this to 75 okay and now I'm gonna do a render uh, actually let's get in uh, a little closer on our render okay so now I've got uh, three layers I've stacked up three different uh, spec values for for this setup 
Okay, and if I want, I can say, uh, let's exclude the, the spotlight in the scene. Okay, and, uh, and then let's add it and take a look. Okay, so we can exclude lights, we can layer up, um, we can layer up our spec hits. We can take advantage of this. Now, in the node editor, we have the anisotropic shader, but if you're not using the node editor, well, come in here and you can have the anisotropic um, spec hit that, uh, that you might want. So it's really great for, um, for brushed metals and, and things like that. But the, the fact that we can, in this shader, stack up multiple, um, multiple spec specular reflections is a really useful um, option. We can change the, the different types of specular reflection. And I would say even more important is the fact that we can exclude lights from a specific surface. It's not, we're not just limited to excluding uh, uh, lights from an object. Uh, we can say, you know what, I want everything on the object to be affected by this except this one surface, uh, which to me is, um, is priceless. So uh, that's a quick look at the BRDF shader found in the shaders tab uh, in the surface editor.